Hello everybody! Happy Wednesday! I've got a really nice book to read today that I think about every single fall because I think this book feels like the crispiness of leaves under your feet and the taste of a fresh-picked apple. It's just a really lovely story for fall. It is Axcart Man, one of my favorites. And this book, you can see, has a shiny gold medal on it. That shiny gold medal is the Caldecott Medal, and it's given out every single year to what was determined to be the best children's picture book that was published that year. And they use a lot of things to decide whether or not it's the best children's picture book. Some of them are whether or not it has beautiful illustrations, whether or not the story is a really good one with a nice message, um, and it's just a really nice way of knowing that this book is something that's probably going to be a good read. So most people will probably like it. It is written by Donald Hall and the pictures are by Barbara Cooney. So let's start reading Oxcart Man. October, he backed his ox into his cart and he and his family filled it up with everything they made or grew all year that was left over. He packed a bag of wool he sheared from the sheep in April. He packed a shawl his wife wove on a loom from the yarn spun at the spinning wheel from sheep sheared in April. He packed five pairs of mittens his daughter knit from the yarn spun at the spinning wheel from sheep sheared in April. He packed candles the family made. He packed linen made from the flax they grew he packed shingles he split himself. He packed birch brooms his son carved with a borrowed kitchen knife. He packed potatoes they dug from their garden, but first, he counted out potatoes enough to eat all winter and potatoes for seed next spring. He packed a barrel of apples, honey and honeycombs, turnips and cabbages, a wooden box of maple sugar from the maples they tapped in March when they boiled and boiled and boiled the sap away. He packed a bag of goose feathers that his children collected from the barnyard geese. When his cart was full, he waved goodbye to his wife, his daughter, and his son. And he walked at his ox's head for 10 days, over hills, through valleys, by streams, past farms and villages. until he came to Portsmouth and Portsmouth Market. He sold the bag of wool. He sold the shawl his wife made. He sold five pairs of mittens. He sold candles and shingles. He sold birch brooms, he sold potatoes, he sold apples, he sold honey and honeycombs, turnips and cabbages, he sold maple sugar, he sold a bag of goose feathers. Then he sold the wooden box he carried the maple sugar in. He sold the barrel he carried the apples in. Then 
he sold the bag he carried the potatoes in. Then he sold his ox cart. Then he sold his ox and kissed him goodbye on the nose. Then he sold the ox's yoke and harness. With his pockets full of coins, he walked through Portsmouth Market. He bought an iron kettle to hang over the fire at home. And for his daughter, he bought an embroidery needle that came from a boat in the harbor that had sailed all the way from England. And for his son, he bought a Barlow knife for carving birch brooms with. And for the whole family, he bought two pounds of winter green peppermint candies. Then he walked home with his needle and the knife and the winter green peppermint candies tucked into the kettle and a stick over his shoulder stuck through the kettle's handle and coins still in his pocket. Past farms and villages, over hills, by valleys and streams, until he came to his farm and his son, his daughter, and his wife were waiting for him. And his daughter took her needle and began stitching. And his son took his Barlow knife and started whittling. And they cooked dinner in their new kettle. And afterwards, everyone ate a wintergreen peppermint candy. And that night, the ox cart man sat in front of his fire, stitching new harnesses for the young ox in the barn. And he carved a new yoke and sawed planks for a new cart and split shingles all winter. While his wife made flax into linen all winter and his daughter embroidered linen all winter, and his son carved Indian brooms from birch all winter, and everybody made candles. And in March, they tapped the sugar maple trees and boiled the sap down. And in April, they sheared the sheep, spun yarn, and wove and knitted. And in May, they planted potatoes, turnips, and cabbages, while apple blossoms bloomed and fell, while bees woke up, starting to make new honey. And geese squawked in the barnyard, dropping feathers as soft as clouds. I really enjoy how at the beginning of this book, we hear about all of the things that he's bringing to the market and then how he sells all of the things and even gives his ox a kiss on the nose, which is really cute. And then at the end of the book, we find out how all of those things that he brought to the market were made. And we learn about what they do through the entire year, just so that they can go to the market in October 
to sell the things so that he can make money to buy things to make more things to sell. So it's a very much a cycle in this book and I really enjoy how that cycle happens and we can hear about their entire year. So it's just a really lovely book and it starts in October and it is October now. So this seems like a really good book to read at the beginning of fall. I hope that you all enjoyed this story and have a wonderful week.